Hi, welcome to God Gifted Cameras. We are presenting to you an educational series of calligraphy called Soul of Calligraphy. I am Swati Thakur, founder of Suhastha. We went through the Chancery font, the first family being the A family. We move on to the next family of letters. Today we will be starting with the H family. Now which are the letters that come in the H family? It's H, N, M, U and Y. So I would like to show you the similarities of this family and how if we study and observe one letter, we will be able to master the other letters also. First of all, before we start with any tool, it's always advisable to do the markings with your pen. As I had mentioned earlier, the basic rule is taking four nib width height or five nib width height for lowercase. And for the capitals, it is seven nib width height. This way, you will be in the perfect proportion of your letters. Now, here I am taking four nib width height with the pilot parallel 2.4. So we start with edge. The, vert the first vertical stroke from thin to thick. Starting from the base, branching out, taking a small branch, taking a small turn, coming down and giving a flick is edge. Now there's a small swash. This is called as the ascender. The ascender could be 4 nib width or 5 nib width height. From H comes N. The vertical stroke from base branching out, taking a small turn, coming down and giving a flick. The next coming M. Join, branch out, take a small turn, come down. The downwards movement has to be with your three fingers, this way. So this gives you a consistent vertical stroke. Next come U. U is the mirror image or the reverse of N. Again the same vertical stroke from thin to thick, taking a small turn, going upwards, coming down and giving a flick. From U comes Y. As you can observe, if you turn the edge, downwards it forms a Y. These are the similarities of this family. Now next, we'll move on to the next family, the F family. I take four nib width height for the lower case. You can take either four or five and seven for the capitals. Four nib width height are these three boxes. So we start with F thin to thick. It has an ascender and a descender both. F I From I you can extend to J From J, you can extend to L and then comes T. Now in T, the ascender is not as much as the other letters. The horizontal bar of the T has to be resting on the 4 nib width height. So if you observe, the L is taller than the T. 
Never extend the ascender of the T till the L. These are the similarities in the F family. There's a F, I, J, L, T. If you see that the strokes are similar. In the H family, I would like to bring your attention to a few tips that is observe the positive and the negative space. The positive space are the black letters and the, the vacant, the empty spaces are the negative spaces. Here, the negative spaces are equally important to the positive space. As you see in the H family, the negative spaces are equal. The counter space of M is slightly lesser than the N. But there has to be a similarity in H, N, U and Y. This will help you to bring in a grace and consistency in your letters. Now, even this is a negative space in your letter. Try to bring in a consistency and similarity in these spaces to make your letters balanced and beautiful. So this was our two families, the H family and the F family. I hope you found this informative and it helps you in improving your calligraphy. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you like it. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to God Gifted Cameras. Thank you.